Hi everyone, today we are going to read Good Night, Sleep Tight. A new sound echoed along the corridors of the castle. To the king and queen was born a royal princess. The prince had a baby sister. He couldn't see what all the fuss was about. Among the many splendid presents was the softest, fluffiest pillow in the kingdom. But one day the fat royal cat squashed it flat. The poor princess cried and cried and cried. So the king popped over for a little chat with his royal knight. Fill this with something soft and fluffy, he barked. And hurry! The knight leapt into action. He was so quick there wasn't even enough time to finish the scent. Deep inside the wild wood, prickly bears rubbed their grumbly tummies. Lunchtime, they slurped, but the knight was thinking about his quest. Hmm, I wonder if I could borrow some bear hair to put in the royal pillow, he thought, and decided to take a closer look. Two minutes later, the grizzled bears shuffled back into the shadows, rubbing their sore bottoms and mumbling to themselves, Well, really, it's hardly fair. We just wanted a quick nibble. No need for that. Bear hair lay everywhere. The knight filled the pillow and gave it to the horse. Is this pillow soft enough for the princess, he asked, said the horse. No. He thought it was too scratchy. Nobody noticed slinky shadows curling around the tree trunks. A jumble of wolves howled from the trees. They sniffed the night, they sniffed the horse, then sniffed out. Wolf hair lay everywhere. The knight filled the pillow again and gave it to the horse. Is this pillow soft enough for the princess, he asked. No, said the horse. He thought it was too bristly. Just then... An owl dropped out of the sky and bounced off the knight's head. Feathers floated gently to the floor. That's it, cried the knight. I'll make a pillow of feathers. If it's feathers you want, said the dizzy owl, follow me. I'll take you to see. The feather trees. So the knight and his I'm completely scared of heights horse clambered up into the branches. All the birds gathered round to listen to the knight's tale. There were feathers everywhere. When he had finished, the birds happily agreed to help and plucked just enough feathers to fill the pillow to the royal brim. The knight and his faithful horse waved goodbye and galloped and galloped and galloped until they came back to the wild wood. They wrestled and wriggled their way through its darkest secrets and plopped out the other side. No one in the castle had slept for a week, so they were jolly pleased to see the knight return. Place that child upon that pillow before I go bananas, wailed the king. Everyone held their breath. The princess didn't, so the prince leaned over and gave his baby sister a cuddle. The princess stopped crying. She smiled, blew a little bubble and then went to sleep. The king hugged the prince, the queen hugged the prince. At last, the castle fell silent. Except for the snoring that snuffled sleepily through the corridors. Good night, sleep tight.